Forza. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you. Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing? Good evening, gentlemen. Very good. Very well. Thank you. Thank good you. evening, We're good. guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. Good evening, everybody. How are you? How was your day at work today? Well, all good. More or less, teacher. But more or less, what uh, happened today? Today, today, I am in San Salvador, mm -hmm. and maybe I return tomorrow to Chalate because I live in Chalatenango. Um, today, but emergence uh, i will i will drive drive to san salvador oh really but yes my my son uh, have a uh, tomorrow have a uh, uh, sita uh, your son has an appointment tomorrow appointment tomorrow with the the doctor. Oh, yes. I hope, I hope it's nothing complicated. Thank you. Thank you. I hope and God, but uh, don't worry. Don't worry. All right. Okay. Um, anyways, thank you. Thank you so much for being here either way. All right. It's good to see you guys uh, and the girls. All right. I hope you had a Great day today, guys. All right, so we're gonna continue, guys, in a moment. So, did, did you, did you, uh, did you all complete the midterm, guys, already? Section one, two, in the midterm. Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Yes. yes, I complete. I finished. I complete. I completed it. I completed. All right, very good. I completed it. Complete, guys. Complete. It's a transitive verb. Okay. I completed it. You, you need a. I completed it. it. I completed it. Okay, very good. Very good, guys. Okay. All right. Hey, guys, so let's keep talking about adverbs. Okay, so today we are going to talk about adverbs in past perfect tenses. Okay. All right. So we're going to have more information about uh, adverbs in this in this uh, sense. Now, yesterday we were talking about uh, adverbs in simple past, right? So we can say I walked quickly to the store, etc. Right? You know that you can make adjectives, right? You can turn adjectives into adverbs by adding what? By adding? Excuse me, uh, adverbs? Am I, Excuse can you hear me? Yeah. L -Y. Please, repeat. Please repeat. Yes, so I was saying that we can turn, we can turn the simple past, well, adverbs, right? I mean, adjectives, right, into adverbs, by adding what? L-Y. Ah, L-Y. L-Y, right? Okay, very good, right? Lee. Okay, very good, guys. So now, uh, so we use simple past for what? What, what? what is the main purpose of simple past? What do you think? Simple past. The very past. <laughs> to talk about, to talk about what? An action? That finished. That already, okay, yeah. that an action that is already over, right? An action that finished already. Good job, okay? That is yeah. the reason why we would use that, okay? All right, so now in past perfect, guys, we uh, briefly went over this yesterday. So past perfect is used to talk about an action occurring before another action, right? Correct? Yes. yes. So, yes. Right. starting the so, past, it continues in the... In the and this it is in the present? The no. No. Mm. No, I don't think so. No, nope. past perfect. No, 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 no. And and that's that's okay because I don't want you. It's good that you brought that up because um that those are the type of uh, doubts we have to um we have to answer, right? We have to we have it's to true. take care of. So tell me. And we need a, a, another action, but past perfect tense happen. Yes, you you most most of the times, unless you know what you're talking about already, but most of the times you're gonna need another action or another uh, uh, 
that a time frame, you know? For example, take a look at this, for instance, right? I had eaten breakfast, right? If we only had this clause, guys, would it make sense to you? No. No. It wouldn't make any, any sense. Exactly. So, because if we want to emphasize on the fact that that uh, we had breakfast, you know, this morning, I could simply say, I had breakfast, right? Or I ate my breakfast this morning, correct? Mm -hmm. So there's yes. no need for, for, for past perfect. So the reason, right? The reasons past perfect exists is so we can talk about an action that occurred before another action in the past, okay? And what would be one of those actions, okay? Oh, before I went to work, right? I had eaten breakfast before I went to work, okay? So, um, all right, do we, do we have any adverb here, by the way? Before. Yeah, before. before. Oh, yes. is, is that an adverb or is that a conjunction? Uh, well, in, in this case, it's like a conjunction. Conjunction. Con conjunction, right? Conjunction. Yes, yeah. that would be a conjunction, right? So we don't have, you know, we, we don't have an adverb here, right? But this is an example. You got to understand why past perfect is used first, right? So this is just a reminder because I know that you guys have gone over, um, you know, past perfect tenses, right? So, so basically it's that, right? So, okay, so you have, right? We're gonna, we're gonna do the timeline again, real quick. All right, so you have a timeline and you have over here the past, right? So, and then you have the present here, right? Now, basically let's, let's, let's talk about real examples, okay? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, right? I volunteer, guys, any volunteer, right? Tell me what time did you arrive, um, did you arrive to work today? What time did, did you arrive to work today? Tell me, I volunteer, guys, any volunteer? <clears throat> I arrived at 8 a.m. All right, very good. So that was Josue, right? Thank you, Josue. So we got Josue, guys, okay? Josue at some point here, right? This is Josue. I know him, and this is exactly how he looks like. Nah, I'm kidding. Now, um, so Josue, right, arrived to work at 8 a.m., okay? So this was 8 a.m., okay? So now I could say, Right, he he had arrived to work at eight a.m. Right now, this is the structure of past perfect. However, is this correct? No, I need another action. No, right? Because if I wanted to say this, guys, I would simply say, you know, he arrived at eight a.m. Right. So anyways, so there is no point, there is no point for me to use past perfect if I don't compare it to something else. Okay. So basically, guys, you have to compare this, okay? All right. So what time did you arrive to work today? Right. So he arrived at 8 a.m. So now at four. What am I gonna do next? Okay, so what happened? What happened? Um, let's say what happened at I don't know, tell me something that happened at 6 a.m. I got up. I got stuck in the traffic, obviously. Okay, got stuck, got stuck in traffic, okay. All right, so, right, so there was a, there was a lot of traffic, right? There, there was a lot of traffic, guys, and he got stuck, right? This is my, this is my car, guys. It looks exactly like this, All right? <laughs> All right. Anyways, okay, so whatever. All right, this is exactly how my car looks, okay? Anyways, BMW, so he, teacher. He, he, he got stuck, <laughs> yes, right? He got stuck <laughs> in traffic, right? So here we can say... Your Volvo. Oh, right, my Volvo, right? <laughs> no, uh, I, got a, I got a Hyundai. Anyways, um, so here, right? So this is 6 a.m., right? So now... 
this is what pers that what past perfect is for, right? So I can say, um, I can say Josue had arrived or uh, had gotten stuck in traffic before, right? Before he got to work, right? So Jose had gotten stuck in traffic before he got to work, right? Or before you can say he arrived, let's change the he arrived to work, okay? All right, so that's what we're gonna use past perfect for, okay? Simple, right? Perfect. Now, these guys, okay, this does not have to do anything with the present, right? It's actually the past of the past, okay? So how do we talk about the past of the past? And the past of the past will be past perfect, right? Now, I'm not gonna go over, guys, the structure and all that because that's something that we are all supposed to know, right? So, uh, but yeah, that's basically what it is, okay? So, um, so we can say, we can say, for example, now, how, how do we, how do we talk about adverbs here? Okay, but, but before we move on to the adverbs part, guys, do we all understand what past perfect is used for? Yes, sir. Yes, all right, okay, great. Yes. Great, 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 okay. All right, so we can say, all right, we can say, for example, right, I had already eaten breakfast before I went to work, right? So if we say, guys, for example, you can say before, afterwards, the next day, later, right? Do you think that, that those would be adverbs? Remember, what is an adverb? Already? Already. An adverb, an adverb is, is, a, is a word that modifies a verb. Okay, I could say exactly adverb, an adverb, or another, or an adjective, right? So three things. So we could say, guys, my boss asked to speak to me, right? As soon as I got to go to work. Okay, so check this out. Now, in this case, guys, okay, let's analyze this. Is this word modifying an adverb, an adjective, or 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 a verb? No. No. A phrase. Any, any, any. A no. Phrase. A phrase. Okay. I had already eaten breakfast before. Huh? He's speaking about it's two sentences. The, oh, All right. Two sentences. No? Okay. What if I said, guys? Okay. So, what if I said this? What if I said my? Right. So, hold on, Jesus. So I could say my my boss asked me. Um, to clean the bathroom, right? That that that's that's what my boss asks me to do every day, guys. So my boss asked me to to clean. Hold on. To clean the bathroom or the restroom. Did you know, guys, that that's different? Bathroom, the bathroom in a restroom. Yeah. Right. The difference, guys. Yeah, it's different. So. In the place. If usually, guys, it's more you go, comfortable. No, that's not it. So usually no. if you go if you go to a public place, it's gonna be a restroom, right? Restroom. So that, that's why it says restrooms because they don't have, you know, they don't have a bath. A bath no. is a place where you can take a shower, right? Or like bath. Mm -hmm. Or you can you can you can bathe, right? So if they don't have that, if they only have, you know, the toilet, then that's a restroom. Okay. Uh -huh. So when you go to restaurants, right, you cannot bathe, right? You can wash your hands. Right and, and do your things, right? So that is a restroom. Okay. So, anyways, okay. My boss asked me to clean the restroom, and then you can say as soon as I got um as soon as I what? As I got to work? No, as I as I, as I arrived. As I arrived to the office, okay. To the office. Now, all right, let me ask you this. So do we have an adverb here, or is this an adverb? My boss asked me to clean the restroom as soon as I arrived to walk to, to, to the office. Do we have an adverb? As soon as I arrive, arrive. 
arrive, arrived in past or in present. All right. As soon as I arrive to the office. Okay. All right. Let's let's analyze this together, guys. As soon as as soon as. Okay. Is that an adverb there? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Why? As soon as. <laughs> But it's because it's describing a uh, action. Soon is a, it's talking right. about things. No, soon is an adjective, but as, as soon as is a is an expression. It's an adverb. Uh, okay. Oh. All right. I want you. I want you to notice two things. Okay. All right. So if you say before I went to work, guys. Okay. That that is again, guys. Anything. Okay. This could be a conjunction, right? But anything, guys, anything, absolutely anything that modifies an adverb, a verb, or a verb or, or an adjective is an adverb, okay? Anything, right? Absolutely anything, okay? So are we modifying any adverb here, any, any adjective or any verb here as soon as, as soon as I arrived? Are we talking about anything here? Well, maybe it's a, a close. A clause? Yeah, I mean, that, this is the start of a clause, right? My boss asked me to clean the restroom. It's one clause. As soon as I arrive to the office, right? That's another clause, right? So as soon yes. as he's, he's modifying what? As soon as he's talking about what? Think about it. Uh, about, about you, me. Uh, about as time, you. Uh, yeah, about you. All right. About about what? I'm sorry. It's modifying. No. You find it's this one? Do, do, it's an algebra of time. Yeah, but why? I mean, it's not. How do you know it's an algebra of time? Clean as soon as. It's, as soon as possible. He's speaking about time. Yeah, very soon. Modify the, the clean. All right, give, do, you know what? I'm going to give you a trick, okay? Whenever you're not sure about what something is, try to That's substitute it. Try to substitute it, okay? Substitute for another adverb. All right. Uh, let's say instead of as soon as, let's say. Um, Why? Right? Let's say clearly, right? Clearly. And then I come here, right? Let's let's pretend that this part of the sentence doesn't exist. Okay, just this part over here, right? So clearly, all right? Clearly, clearly, comma, I arrived to the office. Would this be an adverb? Yes, an adverb. Yes, because he's talking about arrived, right? Mm -hmm. all right. Mm -hmm. So as soon as guys, he's talking about arrived. The verb. Talking about arrived. Okay. Now check this out. All right. So when we say before, now are we talking about a verb? Are we talking about went? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. When. Very good. Okay. Very good. Right. So basically, guys, they can work as adverbs if you put in like that. Okay. Um, let me give you more examples here. Hold on. Let me get the whiteboard. Hold on. All right, let's get the wide word. Okay, so anyways, right? So let's have more examples, okay? Now, I want you to notice something, guys, okay? We have past perfect. And it's funny because past perfect is married. It's married to whom, guys? Past perfect is married, married to, to simple past. past simple, okay? simple past. All yeah. right, so past perfect is married to simple past, right? So we have okay. to work. We have to 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 work together, right? All right. So, anyways, okay. So I could say, for example, uh, um, let's see, da, 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 let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. The same. I'm studying in 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 the other language, in Portuguese, to the past perfect. You're using the same the same one. Yeah, the same. Nice, nice, nice. 
Yeah. All right. All right. I had never lost anything important. Okay. All right. Let's use that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I had never lost anything important before before that okay or you can say okay let's use yeah before that okay let's analyze the examples that we get in the platform okay yeah. all right guys so first of all is this sentence correct yes or no okay yes. before, before right. that so what know. is what is the what is the <laughs> adverb here no Adverb. Before. Do we, have, do we have an adverb? Before? What is before modify? Before. Um, oh, maybe nothing. <laughs> Not anything. Nothing. Before that. Nothing. What, what is that? <laughs> before the before, before uh, that, right? I mean the sentence is correct. Any... There isn't any mistake in the sentence, guys. Okay, but I told before, you yesterday, right? You can yeah, use before, phrases, guys. Never. Before that is before. a mistake. Before that, guys, before that, this right here, before, hold on. No, before that, it's not a mistake, guys. What are you talking about? No, absolutely not. This is correct. The sentence is fine, okay? The adverb, guys, here is before that, okay? Oh, okay. All right? I told you guys, whole phrases can work as adverbs, okay? So let's analyze this, okay? Uh, are, we, are we talking about important? Are we talking about Last. anything? Are we talking about lost? Lost? Never. Had lost? never lost. <laughs> lost. So what is before that talking about? I had lost. All right, let's see. I had never lost before lost that. The verb. Lost at the verb. Yes. All right. So before that, I could say I had never lost before that, right? Okay. What are we talking about? Uh, I had never lost anything important before that. All right. Yeah. We're talking about lost, right? Right. Uh, and somebody asked me, "What about never? Is never an adverb?" Yes. Another to another yes. to because yes. never <laughs> is talking about lost, right? It's modifying lost. And what is lost? It's the verb. Past. Past. All right. Past. It's a, it's a verb, right? Very good. Okay. Yes. There you go. All right. So yes, this is an adverb too. Right, and before that is working as an adverb as well, right? That's why we have adverbial phrases, okay? That is a more complicated topic. We're gonna see that too, right? But that's why guys, if you if you go to the platform, right? You're gonna see this example because this, you know, this is working as an adverb, okay? Um, we can say, have, tell me, tell I, me. I have the parameter of all of the, of the problems that the that the platform has because I I tried to finish everything but I couldn't. <laughs> all right. Okay. That's great. That's great. But we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go over all the answers from the platform. Okay. So yes. Don't worry about that. From the, you you know the answers from the platform we just complete them guys right but uh, we are going to go over the answers throughout the classes. Okay. So anyways, right? Mm -hmm. Let's let's have another one, guys. Give me another one from the platform. Give me another one. You know what? From the exercises. Like the adverb, not not the phrase, right? What do you got? From the platform? Yeah, um, some of the, exa the examples that you saw in the platform. I don't know. Um, oops. Let's say up until then, right? Mm, let's use up until then. Do you know what this means, guys? Up until then? Up until yeah, then. Yeah, yes. All right? Mm -hmm. Up until then, guys, is like saying, you know, until that time, right? Up until the then. Time, yes. Okay. So mm -hmm. let's say. Um, mm, when we arrive, when we uh, are. Uh, until that time. I'm until sorry. that time. Until the. I in the very moment. In the very moment that we are studying those topics. You are going to help us with the platform, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Definitely. All right. All right. Okay. But but right now, let's focus, guys. Let's focus in. All right. Let's focus here, right? So up until then, right? Up until then. What example can you give me with up until then? I need a I need a sentence, guys, in past perfect. Just a sentence. 
or even a question, you know, whatever. Yes. All right, you know what? I want everybody, all right, let's do this, guys. I want yeah. everybody to give, to come up with two sentences using up until then. It doesn't matter if you make a mistake, guys, try your best to use up until then. And then I'll get one of your examples and we'll, we'll explain why this is an adverb, okay? So everybody send me two examples in the chat right now, please. Let's go, guys, let's go, let's go, let's go. Two examples of up until then. All right. All right, so we got two examples so far. Up until then, I was able to get my own car. All right, Catherine, thank you. Up until then, I have had a good relationship with my cousin. No, uh, Nicole, in that case, I've had, that's present perfect, right? And that would not make sense there, right? You have to change the, the, the auxiliary for had. I had swing. All right, I had swing. Swing is not in past participle, remember? It needs to be after the auxiliary had, you need to have past, a past participle uh, verb. Up until then, there was, and also guys, if you're gonna start with up until then, right? Because you, you don't necessarily need to start with up until then, okay? But if you're gonna start with up until then, you need to place a comma after then, okay? Up until then. There had been a great friendship between us. There have been, okay. This is an example for the platform. Pla platform, not platform, yeah. right? No, platform, no. platform, yes. Yes. <laughs> what is an example from the platform? Yes, Lara bought a car this uh, Lara summer. Lara bought a car this summer. Time. Until that time, she didn't know how to drive. Okay, all right. Vanessa had already read that book before. It was up to Sala. I don't know what that is, Sala. All right, Jose, I have I have taken my dog. No, I had. I had, not have, guess. Have is present perfect, right? Had, with D, guys, with D as in David. All right, uh, let's see. There was a party with my parents and I had not realized how old I am up until then. Now, remember guys that you are combining, right? If you're gonna combine two sentences, right? Two tenses, the tense that you have to combine it with needs to be a simple past, right? So Sandra, in your case, there was a party with my parents. That That is okay, that is simple past, right? And I had not realized how old I was. Up until then, right? Because uh, you're talking, yeah. I was. Okay. Thank you. All right, very good. Um, up until then, we had to get a price, okay? Patricia. All right. Up until then, the energy has has come. Had, had, uh, Rafael. Had. 
Because it's in past part perfect, right? Person perfect, guys, is have or has, right? Past perfect. Hey, by the way, guys, in past perfect, you are not going to use, you're not going to change the verb, okay, that the auxiliary, even if it is in third person, right? So you're always going to use had, H-A-D. Up until then, the energy has come now. Up until then, there had been a great friendship between us. Uh, up until then, I was able to play with my dog. Okay. Now, friendship, uh, friendship, uh, Anna, is a non-cannibal noun, right? Because you cannot say friendships, right? So there is a, a no need for the article a. Uh. Up until then, I was able to play with my dog. Good job. Uh, which just means the coma. Uh, I had a bad day, but it doesn't matter because it's over. Now, all right. So I'm noticing <laughs> I had eaten Garrobo. I think that you wanted to say once. Garrobo is lizard, guys, okay? Uh, Nicole, up until then, coma, I had had a good relationship with my cousin. Good job. Thank you, Nicole. Patricia, up until up until day? No, up until then, right? Yes, sorry, sorry. Okay, very good. The energy had come, right? Very good, Rafa. All right. Um, we just means to come there. We had gone to the beach before we ate fish. That is correct. Uh, let's just use up until then, because I want you to understand that part. I had gone to to the town. I think they want to say town. When I when I felt again, so I had gone to town when I felt a headache. Right, you can say that. Up until then, I was able to study English. Good job. Up until then, he had taken care of his children. Good job. That's a good example, Sandra. Up until then, my son had changed, had to change his cell phone. You have been a great writer. Okay, good job. All right, I like the examples that I'm seeing. Now, all right, let's correct a couple of things, guys. All right, we have to talk about something important. Now that I'm seeing your examples, okay, we have to talk about something important, okay? All right, so first of all, guys, okay, if you guys are starting with, all right, let's 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 pay attention for now, guys, right? And then you can continue sending me the, the right example, okay? But right now, let's pay attention to this. And also, guys, I would like everybody else to participate because I know uh, I got the same people and I love it when you participate, right? But uh, I see that we need more help and I'm talking about the rest of the class in regards to uh, past perfect, okay? So now let me ask you something guys, real quick before I keep reading uh, your examples. If I say guys, I had a lot of money. Is this past perfect? I had a lot of money. No, no, no. No. It's simple. A very participle belly. All right, very good, guys. So this right here, this right here, right? Is is that is the is this an auxiliary? No. Yes or no? No, no, no. No. no in this case, right? it's a verb. In this it's case, a, it's a verb in past. Yes. All right. In this case, guys, yes, it's the ver it's the verb in the past. Okay. I had a lot of money. Okay. Now, what about this? I had had a lot of money. Yes, it's oh, okay. yeah, yeah. it's had first had is auxiliary. Exactly, guys. Okay, the, the first. All right. So the first had here is the auxiliary. Okay, auxiliary, and the second had is it's a verb. is actually a past participle. Part okay. Past participle. All right, it's in past participle. So. If you say had, guys, just like had, and then you have the complement, right? No, that's not, that's not, guys, past perfect, okay? That is simple past. So do simple. not get confused with that, okay? All right. So far, so good? Okay. Yeah. So far, so right. good. All right. So now the other, the other common mistake that I'm seeing here, guys. So if you made this mistake, guys, please correct it, okay? And send me a good example. Now, the other mistake that I'm seeing very commonly here, guys, is up until then right now you can you can start yeah you can start with up until then but it is not necessary right up until then and then comma if you start guys if you start with up until then you need to place a comma okay and why is this important 
This is important, guys, because when you go to the platform, right, and you're like this, right? Oh, give me an example, All right? So, so let's 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 have the answer. And you're like, uh, the answer is, I had uh, gone to the supermarket. <laughs> okay. Do you think that? Okay. Do you think that the 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 platform will accept this answer? Mm -mm. No. No. No, right? So capital letter, right? Yeah. Uppercase, capital letter here, right? Capital letters where they don't belong, right? No period, right? So all of that, guys. So when you when you type in, guys, up until then, if you do it at the beginning, you need to place a comma, okay? Up until okay. then. Okay. All right. So okay. up until then, comma, right? Up until then, and let's see one of one of your examples here, okay? Uh, I got Luis up until them. No, then, not them. Damn. When dancing and came. No, come back yeah. later. No. Up until the day she had cleaned her room tonight. No. Hey, by the way, this example right here, up until then, she had cleaned her room tonight. Guys, think about this, right? Up until then is making a reference to what? Is it is it making a reference to time? Yes or no? Yes. Time. Yes or no? Yes, yes. Okay, so we cannot say up until then, you know, she had eaten breakfast tomorrow. Got it? This doesn't make sense, right? We, we should not be adding another time reference, right? So we can say up until then, right? Up until then. Uh, up, up, until, up until then, you know, she had until, not up, eaten until, yeah. breakfast, right? Okay. Or, or we can say this, okay? We can say she had not eaten breakfast up until up then, until okay? Then. All right. And there, guys, okay? There okay. you have an example, guys, all right, of up until then being used as an adverb at the beginning and at the end, okay? So up until then, up until then is modifying what, guys? She had not eaten breakfast eaten. up until then. Eaten. Up eaten. until the then is modifying eaten, eaten right? So eaten. therefore, that, that is the reason why this phrase, guys, is an adverb, okay? Right, the whole phrase is modifying eaten, okay? Very good, very good, guys. So if you had, if you had the, the wrong example, guys, Right, please let's create that right now, okay? Um, let's see, let's see, what is another one here? Um, all right. Up until before that, okay? Until that time, let's say until that time, right? I can say, um, Rafael, right? Rafael had never met Dualupe, right? Until until that time. Okay. Until that time. Or I could say what, guys? How can I rearrange this? I could say Dualupe until that time. I could say, I could say until then, right? Until then, until that time, I'm sorry, until that time, comma, Rafael had never met Dualupe, all right? So let's analyze this, guys, right? We know which is the adverb because, I mean, it's, it's a phrase, right? So that's, you know how you can identify it now, but try to think about the logic behind it, okay? So what is up until that time modifying? Um, met. Until that met. time. Met the right verb. Here. So, okay. So it's modifying, guys, right? Until that time, the whole phrase is modifying the verb yes. met, yeah. right? Right? Until that time, right? It's modifying met. Met. The only difference, guys, between these two sentences, okay, mm -hmm. is the fact that um, the, the order, the order, right? Yeah. Now, 
what is the difference? Okay, so so now you can ask me this, okay? Um, I don't know if you're wondering this, guys, but have you ever thought about why we we use we can use the the adverb at the beginning or at the end? Why what what's the difference between that? Why would we do that? Or is it the same? Or is there any reason? Is there any reason for us to use it at the beginning or at the end, guys? Because we use a, a comma when we when we write it at the beginning. Right. Check check this example. Okay. Um, it's the only time that I'm going to speak in Spanish to you, right? But but check check it out. What if I said, guys, hasta ese entonces, Rafael nunca había conocido a Guadalupe. Versus. Rafael nunca había conocido a Guadalupe hasta ese entonces. So, what is the difference? What is now? There is a difference. What is the difference? I said it in Spanish so you can understand that. Because in the second one, I suppose that until that time is like uh, uh, close. No, that's not the difference. No. Hmm. I think it's the actions <clears throat> that happened. The, the what? I'm sorry. I think it's the order of the actions that happened. It's different. No, no. It means okay. No. So let's all right. Let's let's. All right, it's let's, not let's, the same time. No, it's it is. Same. It is the same time, right, guys? The message is the same, but there is one simple thing that changes. All right. I'm. I'm going to tell you the, the answer. Order. Okay. No. The emphasis, okay. Emphasis. Yes, the emphasis, right? So when we say yes, Rafael had never met Dualupe until that time, we're making emphasis on the fact that Rafael never met Dualupe before, you know, that time, right? When we say until that time, Rafael had never met Dualupe, we're making an emphasis on in, in the time okay. reference, right? Yeah. Okay. Right? That is the until difference. That okay. Time is like uh, the not object? Not of the object. No. Uh, it, it's it's the adverb, right? It's an adverb. It's an adverb, but we're making emphasis when we put it when we place it in the beginning of the sentence. We're making an emphasis on the time reference. It's like, hey, I want you to understand that the time reference is very important, right? The the order, right, or like the time this event happened is very important. So that's why I'm gonna say it at the beginning. Got it? That's why I said it in Spanish, right? It's like saying, hey, viejito, hasta este entonces nunca te había visto, right? What am I making an emphasis on, guys? When I say hasta este entonces nunca te he visto, I'm making an emphasis on hasta este entonces, right? That is the 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 relevance that I'm giving it. Okay, if I say nunca te he visto hasta este entonces, I'm not making an emphasis on hasta este entonces now. Got it? I'm making an emphasis on the fact that I had not seen that person. Does it make sense? Yes, sir. All right. So that is the difference, guys. Okay, so there is a difference if you place it at the beginning or at the end, right? And also guys, please place the comma, right? Place the comma guys after the, you know, after the, the adverb, okay? Any questions guys so, so far? No. Check that out, right? That could be used, all right? My students, all right? And before my, that? I never had questions. Yeah, before that is the same, yes. All right, had never had questions before. Well, let's say you know what? Let's just up until then, place. right? Up until then. Okay. Right, I could say this, right? My students had never had questions up until then, right? So the whole phrase up until then will be the adverb, right? Which is modifying had. Not the auxiliary, not not the auxiliary, guys, but no, no. the verb. Okay? It's a verb. Exactly, a verb. Principle. All right. All right. Very good, guys. So let's do something real quick, okay? Now that you know, all right, let's let's move on to the rest of the presentation, okay? All right. So so that's what we have, guys. We have something called adverbial clauses, okay? Now, what is a what is a clause, guys? First of all, do you remember what a clause is? It's like a connector to to make sense uh, no. to a, a sentence. Two sentence. No, nope, that's, that's not a clause. That's not a clause. Yesterday, 
a group of words. It's not a sentence. Very good. Somebody mentioned it right now. It's not a sentence, guys. Let me tell you something, okay? A sentence, you can you can tell what a sentence is, okay? We'll usually finish, right? Uh, we'll usually end with a period, okay? Sometimes a semicolon, okay? But a sentence, guys, will usually end with a period. Why not period? Why am I saying that? Because I could say, I okay. had never seen seen her um, before she came home, right? You can say something like this. I had never seen her before she came home. How many sentences do we have? All right, so we have a group of one. Seen, seen, seen. We have one sentence, guys, okay? We only have one, one sentence. sentence. Oh, okay. All right, see? There's a period here, right? I had never seen her before she came home. That is one sentence, okay? All right, but how many clauses do we have? Remember, a group of words that contains a subject and a predicate. We have a subject, right? We have the the the, the verb. verb here. The verb. And the I'm sorry, I, I, the verb. I made a typo okay. here, right? Right. So we have the verb here, right? The main verb, right? Okay. So this right here, we know I had never seen her is one clause, right? Before she came home, right? We have this and we have this. Okay. So there is another clause starting from here, right? Before, before the clause. Before no, before it's not a clause. Mm -hmm. yeah. It introduces, no it introduces the clause. Okay, the clause is a group of words that contain, right? That contains a subject and a verb and a, or or a predicate. Okay, that is a clause. A group of words that contains a subject and a predicate. Right, and we have different types of clauses, etc. Okay, so all right, so we have two clauses, right? One and two, but we have. How many sentences? One sentence. One, sentence. one, one sentence. sentence. Okay. One so sentence. we only have one sentence, right? So when we go back to the presentation, right? Let's go back here. Okay. All right. So let's go back to the presentation here, right? Um, so adverbial clauses, right? Are help me read guys. Group of no. words. That act that as adverbs. Adverb. Okay. Okay. So a group of words that act as adverbs. For example, after I finish my homework, I will watch TV. The adverbial clause here is what? After. After. After I finish my homework. Right? Listen, check this out. It's it's incredible. After, after I, I finish, finish my homework. My homework, guys. The whole now remember, right? Pay attention to this, guys. Okay. It's called an adverbial clause clause because a whole clause is working as an adverb okay got it <laughs> a whole clause guys a whole clause is working as an adverb so a whole group of words that contains a subject and a predicate is working as an adjective okay all right so after i finish my homework is modifying the verb watch got it okay so in our examples we can say you know that that we had adverbial clauses right we had we had an adverb right and we had adverbial clauses too because it's a whole group of words that is modifying a single verb okay and and, and i'm going to give you a better example guys okay in case you're confused all right let's analyze that okay so we're, let's go over the adverbial clauses right now check the, check out the example that we had right after i finish my homework i will watch tv i could say guys let's make it easier i will by the way guys um every time that you have clauses right and they they're they're under one sentence if it is two clauses generally guys you will be able to switch them around okay so the example was I will watch TV, right? I will watch TV. So I'm switching them. I'm switching them around. Okay, I will watch TV after I finish my homework. Yes. Okay. All right. So check this out, right? So we know, right? We know that after, right? This is simple past, and this is this is not even guys uh, past perfect, right? But we'll we'll give an mm -hmm. example. I'll give an example with past perfect. Now, 
I want you to notice this, right? If we substituted these guys after I finish my homework for another adverb, I will watch TV. Mm, give me, give me an example, guys. I will watch TV more often, right? Or I will watch TV clearly. Both of them are adverbs, right? So why? Because the whole phrase, guys, the whole clause is modifying watch. Got it? All right. So now we can have examples. We can have examples like that in past perfect, right? And the one of them was, okay, uh, I had not. Give, give, me, give me a sentence, guys. Give me a clause in past perfect, please. Hi. One clause. What? Hi. Uh, I have not worked until that day. I have not worked until that day, right? Okay, no, but let's make it longer. Let's, I have not worked. I like that, okay? And let's use until. And now give me a clause, guys. Give me a longer clause in, in simple past. Remember, we have to combine this with simple past, right? So. Until I finish that. Until I finish Until I what? I, I finish the university. I had not worked until I. Um, on, until I finished. Right, my. Career. Universe or career, right? That would be career. Oh, beautiful, guys. Career. Beautiful. Is it with double R, guys? No, right? Career like that, right? All right, so I had not worked until I finished until my, my career. Until my birthday, my 18th birthday. Until my 18th birthday. 18th, 18th, 18th birthday. birthday. All right, all right, but let's, let's, let's leave it here, guys. I had not worked until I finished my career. I like this, okay? So check this out. I had not worked is the past perfect tense, right? But if you yeah. say until, until oh i'm missing the subject here okay, the, uh, I the, uh, the pronoun I right finish. so check this out so you check this out right so can i say i had not worked uh i had not worked well can i say this mm -hmm. guys can i say i had not worked well well yeah, yeah. yes right yeah. We can yes. Stay. i yeah. can i can i say i had not worked clearly yeah, clearly. Yeah, we neatly, can say that. Neatly, yes. All right, let's change that for neatly, right? Right, doesn't matter. Neatly, right? Neatly. I had I had not worked what? Efficiently. In this efficiently. Office. All right, okay. I had not worked efficiently, right? What else? Accurately. Accurately, right? Accurately. Accurately. Right, et cetera, right? So we have, okay, so we know that these are what, guys? What do we call all of these? Hold on. What do we call all of these, guys? Adverbs. Adverbs. Very good. They are adverbs because they're modifying? The verb. Uh, the verb. They're modifying the word. Worked, okay? Beautiful job. So in this case, guys, in this case, until I finished, right? When I say until I finished, my career is modifying the bear. It's no, modifying. I finished my career is modifying. It's modifying work. Worked. Okay. So guys, because the whole phrase is talking about, right? It's talking about work, which is a verb. Therefore, it's considered an adverb. And because it's a whole clause, right? Oh, right and because it's a whole clause it's considered that's that is a category an adverbial clause okay so you have to ask yourself okay so what is okay what is this talking about right what is uh what is until i finished my career talking about so this right here what is it talking about oh i know it's talking about work Okay, very good. So therefore, right, I know that this is, this is, you know, it's talking about work. 
So therefore, this is an adverb, right? Okay. Remember, guys, I told you, right? That's how we identify an adverb. Okay, so now you can ask, okay, but now I want to know what type of adverb is it? Is it an adverb of time? Is it an adverb of frequency? Is it an, is it an adverb of manner? What type of freaking adverb is it? Right? <laughs> right? And then you ask yourself, okay, hold on. This is, what is, what is this? What is this whole thing? Oh, so, so hold on. I, I, have, I have a subject. Hold on. I have a subject. And I have a verb and I have a whole predicate. Oh, this is Albert, a clause. Albert, Albert. Hold, on. Hold on. This is a clause, right? We know that clause. this is a clause. Oh. All right. And in fact, guys, okay, that is a dependent clause, but we're not going to get into that. All right. So, anyway, oh, so this is a clause. Okay. So, listen, this is a clause that is working as an adverb. So, this is a. Oh, Albert, so this, is, this is Albert, an adverbial yeah, clause. clause. Exactly, guys. Got it? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Easy, guys, right? Oh, this, esto es una cláusula, right? Porque tiene un sujeto y tiene un predicado, okay? Right? ¿Y qué está modificando esta cláusula? Ah, está modificando uh, words. Bueno. Es un verbo. Entonces es un adverbio. Okay, si es una cláusula y un adverbio, adverbial clause, right? Got it? Adverbial clause. Oh, that's why. Got it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now I would say, guys, I, I I don't I don't think that this is clear as vodka Petrov three thousand today, right? Maybe tequila. Yeah. Is this clear as tequila? <laughs> We're gonna go over all the alcoholic beverages, right? So, anyways, all right. Uh, let's have another example. Do you want another example? Another example. Yes. You give you give me an example, guys. Okay. Actually, okay. guys, you know what? Before we leave, guys, okay, I want everybody to give me one example. I'm sorry. One example, guys, okay. of an adverbial clause with past perfect. One example, just one. But I want a, a whole clause to work as an adverb, okay? I want a whole clause to work as an adverb, all right? So let's go. See guys, languages is beautiful, isn't it? Cool. It's like crazy, crazy how deep you know grammar goes, right? Cool. So send me one example, guys, in the chat. Okay. okay. And follow the structure of past perfect, okay? Okay. Wow. She hadn't learned English well until she began studying at English Corporativo, right? All right. Yeah, all right. Very good. Ah, I have to write it down there. When you say, guys, up until then, right? When you say up until then, that turns into, do you think that, that would be an adverbial clause? The answer is no, because, oh. because you don't have a subject and a predicate. Up until then, does not have a subject and a predicate, right? It's an adverbial phrase, but not a clause. Got it? <laughs> Big difference, right? To make it, to turn it into a clause, you need to have a subject and a predicate. All right, so I got, uh, I have, uh, I had lived with my family until I started to work. Very good, good job. That is a good example, Helen. We had not, right, we had not slept until we finished our English class. Good job. I had not heard about our verbal classes until I got classes of English from David teacher. Uh, yes. <laughs> I, had not heard, I had not heard about our verbal classes until all right, I'm going to change that sentence because that is, thank you, thank you for, <laughs> thank you for the example, but it is incorrect, okay? okay. All right, it's, I had not heard about a verbal clause, that is right, until I, I, until I had class or until I started learning oh. from David, ah. right? You don't say David, ah, okay. teacher, right? Okay, okay. All right. Very good. 
Uh, Sandra says she hadn't learned English well until she began studying at English Corporativo, All right? Very good, Sandra, thank you. Joaquin Ramirez, I had never seen the rain after this time. Okay, is it raining, guys? I wish it was raining. I wish it were raining, you know? I eat a slice of pizza before I make the dinner. Uh, first of all, it's I eat a slice of pizza, it's in simple present, but that's, I mean, the sentence is correct. Before, make, before I make the dinner, before I make dinner, right? All right, uh, and you would need to change that to past perfect. So I had eaten a slice of pizza, had eaten, right? Very good. Good job. I had crawled until I learned how to walk. Okay, I like that. Very poetic. I had cleaned the house until they helped me. No, I, that would be, I had not cleaned the house, right? I had not cleaned the house until they helped me. I had not cleaned until I ate my dinner. All right, very good, guys, very good. All right, guys, so time's up, guys. Time's up. You can finish sending me your examples. I had washed, uh, I had washed the dishes before by myself until I, I told my sis little sister to start helping. <laughs> okay. yeah that's what sisters are for all right i had not cleaned until i ate my dinner right good job i had watched this right we're good i had never gone to guatemala until i went there with my friend okay good job guys good job okay all right guys so did we learn anything new today what do you think oh yes yes oh, yes fine. yes 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 right so guys uh we will not have a class tomorrow right because it's okay. friday Ooh, right. So remember, guys, do, nice. do not do not drink. Do not drink. But if you if you do, invite me. Right. Okay. All right, guys. Take care, guys. Have a nice weekend. Okay. Nice. Have a nice weekend. Bye. 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 Bye.